I'm Jeff Isles. I'm chair of the Department of Horticulture at Iowa State University, and today we're going to talk about the principles of pruning. Today we're going to talk about pruning, in particular pruning trees, and we do that for a specific reason. We try to correct the tree's architecture, we try to make it structurally sound, and if we're lucky, and if we're good, then that tree will have a long and functional life. So pruning is really the removal of plant parts for a specific purpose. And the tree we'll work on here in a few minutes is a young tree, but that's when we can make the biggest difference. Whenever I look at a tree and, and begin to think about pruning, I try to envision that tree 20, 30, 40 years down the road. Because the tree you see today won't look anything like it does down, down the road. And again, we want this tree to have a long functional life. So I'm looking down the road, what's the tree going to do? What's it going to do on that, on that site? I like to prune in the dormant season, and today's a really good example when it's 45 degrees, it's sunny, there's no wind, comfortable for me, but it's also a good time for the tree because the leaves are gone, I can see the plant's architecture very easily, there are no insect and disease pressures to worry about at this time of the year, and when the tree begins to grow in the spring, the wounds we create today will begin to close rather, rather quickly, so I'm a big fan of pruning in the dormant season. Pruning is a little bit like raising children or dogs or cats, whatever. It, it requires constant vigilance, at least once a year. I realize that might sound like a daunting task, but trees are continually growing, they're evolving, and so visiting a shade, shade tree at least once a year, maybe twice, is a really good schedule to get on. Now occasionally we might use a small step ladder to get further up into the tree, but I'm a big fan of pruning trees when they're young not getting in over my head, so to speak. Uh, and then if I have to get off the ground, do so only one or two steps up on a, on a step ladder. Larger trees and pruning larger trees is better left to professionals, people that actually have been trained in this, in this area and, and can work safely in trees high off the ground. So for pruning small trees, we don't need a lot of high-powered equipment. In fact, a simple pair of uh, pruning shears works, works very well. Uh, these can be purchased almost at any garden center or mass merchant. I like saws that, that look like this. They have a retractable blade. They cut on both the push and the pull stroke and are very useful for removing small branches on, on smaller trees. And finally, I think gloves are a good idea. Yeah, we always want to work safely and so gloves uh, keep us warm, also, uh, but they also protect our hands in case we make a, make a slip. So these are really the only things you need. 